Hey, Junkies for President here. Y'all are going to want to see this one. Bill Maher wants to tell you the clear-cut differences between the Republican Party and the Democratic Party. And then he's going to tell you why the Republicans deserve to act this way. And then he's going to tell you why the left is begging for this behavior. Yeah, you're going to want to watch this one. Why do Republicans stand by him? Now, the easy answer is they're deplorables, ignorant and bad. And yes, there is some of that. But I'm sorry, if I'm going to stay in America, and America is going to stay America, I can't write off half the country that easily. Also, I talk to deplorables. <laughs> so let me try to translate. Not endorse, but translate for liberal America. Part of the appeal of a Herschel Walker or a Donald Trump or any number of egregious assholes Republicans have backed is, in their mind, the worse a candidate is, the more it says to Democrats, do you see how much we don't like what you're selling? Backslash, stick it to the libs. That's why you can be a really bad dude in Republican politics. And it's not a deal breaker. Judge Roy Moore was in his 30s when he was still going to the mall and picking up teenage girls. Eric Greitens was Missouri governor. Then this year, a Senate candidate, despite the fact that his ex-wife says he beat her, and the kids, and he was charged with tying up a woman he was having an affair with, taking nude pictures, and threatening to blackmail her with them. I mean, Andrew Cuomo was creepy, but there was no begging to be untied. <laughs> Al Franken took a gag picture, but he didn't go Phil Spector on anybody. <laughs> this is a clear difference between the parties. Democrats also think the other side is an existential threat, but their response is not to nominate sickos to make a point. The fact that Republicans have no shame in their game and will vote for any monster with an R by his name is their way of signaling how serious they are about blocking this shit. They're like the bad guy in action movies who shoots one of his own men. And then he's like, I liked him, but I had to make a point. I mean, yeah, our lawmakers are tying up girls and using the photos they took of those girls as blackmail. Uh, yeah, and I know we got some that are picking up pre-teenagers at the mall to bring home for sex. Yeah, I know. But it's better than all, all that socialism and identity politics and victimhood and oversensitivity and cancel culture and white self-loathing and forcing complicated ideas about race and sex on kids too young to understand it. Literally anything would be better than that. It's better than our lawmakers being woke and, and, and involving themselves in cancel culture. You know, I'd rather have these sickos and vile rapists and pedophiles in office rather than, th than have somebody being, like, politically correct. That's why you can be a really bad dude in Republican politics. And it's not a deal breaker. He's saying that the stick it to the libs mindset that the right wing has had lately towards the left. He's saying that's the correct way to be. He said that we're begging for that behavior. Yeah, take it from Bill Maher. There's a clear difference between both parties. He even says the Democratic Party doesn't go all Phil Spector on anyone. He lays out the disgusting differences, but then says, hey, if the Democrats wouldn't act like woke assholes, maybe this wouldn't be happening. They deserve it. Stick it to the libs. Stick it to the libs.